everybody this is Amy welcome to my channel I appreciate you stopping by today today I'm going to do another recycled glass tutorial this one I'm going to do just a quick little tutorial on painting violets this is my version of painting violets I'm sure there are several others but today I'm going to be doing mine with the number 12 flat brush a number 10 flat brush number one liner brush all these are plaid one stroke brushes and then my favorite fine line brush by Winstonia using just a handful of paint using eggplant enamel uh, which is the wicker white and then the rest are going to be multi-surface lavender and moon yellow I've already cleaned the glass important that when you're uh, doing glass projects that you clean it and then go over it with rubbing alcohol just to make sure you've gotten off all the like your fingerprints any leftover dust whatever might be on the glass that's a great way to finish uh, cleaning it off I am going to be using the eggplant and actually I meant to do this first the eggplant the lavender and then the wicker white starting towards the top and I'm just going to do a very easy design and I'm just going to continue to move from one to the next you can add new paint if you want the main thing is to make sure that you get good coverage that's what's going to allow you to have durable paint on your glass painting project. Now if it's something where you want to go over it more than once, feel free to do so. If you want to hit it with a hair dryer, a heat gun, you can do so. You can kind of intermix the paint as far as some of the, the pieces are going to have the lavender on the end or the outside some of them have the eggplant I like to do that I just feel like it gives me a little bit more coverage a little more interest in my project depending on how I lay out the paint going to continue on and it's just doing a quick little you can go like this do a quick little curve at the top Go back over it again if you want to load your brush. Do a quick little curve again. And then if you want to just switch to using one of the colors at a time, you can do that as well. Just make it interesting, I guess. This is a pickle jar, by the way. I didn't mention that, but it's great for storage. You, know, you wouldn't think something so simple would be so easily used for something else, but it is. It's you know, if you want to use keep the lid and use it too, you could paint the lid as well. I didn't happen to do that. I had to get rid of the lid. But I think it's very nice. You could set these up on a shelf, maybe in a bathroom. Something just very, very cute to add to your home decor. And basically, I'm not saying it's free because you had to buy what was in it, but in all reality, it didn't cost you a whole lot. And you have a great piece of home decor, just add some paint to it, and there you go. Very easy. Now I'm going to cut down the number of buds that I have on this and number of open flowers because of the limited space. And you can see that that's definitely limited on here. And just see how fun it is just to kind of intermix these, these purples give it a little bit of character 
And then you have just a fun little piece to add your home decor. Put pencils in it. Put your paintbrushes in it. Put buttons in it. If you have like sewing notions, put them in it. Just cute. Very cute. Very easy and very cute. Simple, simple, simple. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my brush, my liner brush, and then start adding in the, some of the greenery on this. And for these, I'm just doing some quick little pulls with this little liner brush. And then I will just kind of drag them along here and make a, a little, I don't want it to be too big, but I'm trying to get it to be a little more opaque because that will definitely help make it a little more durable. Now with the with your glass when you're you're using it for a design like this, you don't have to worry about it as much as if you're using it to drink out of purely because you're not going to have it intermixing with water and having it held a lot that kind of thing you're pretty much going to be doing it and putting it on a shelf or wherever else wherever it is you're going to sit it and go about your business with a wine glass though you definitely want to make sure that you give it the best opportunity to be durable for the mere fact that it will be used differently. Now some will say don't put them in the dishwasher. It is dish dishwasher safe paint. Top rack. One of the things that you have to be careful of is, and I do agree with this, a lot of the dishwashers and such today are very strong, very high powered, and that may be a problem for your painted glass best suggestion is to treat it like fine china which would be pretty much washing it by hand all right so you know just just use good sense you know if you have a very strong dishwasher commercial grade or whatnot just just be careful when you put it in the dishwasher if, if you do if you're able to just give it a quick wash by hand. That's probably the best thing to do. Alright, so then I wanted to add in just these quick little poles and I'm trying to make them not so thick. They get thicker at the top. I'm just kind of blend them in here. And you can make this a little bit bigger if you want. It's almost like it's a bud that has an open jet, I think is what it's supposed to be like. And again, you want this to be thicker than your, your stem, of course, but with the brush I'm using, it might be a little hard to make it that way, but that's okay. And you get the point, right? You get the gist of what I'm doing, I hope. I'm just going to pull, do a little pull off to the side here. This is not meant to be another bud by any means. It's just meant to be a little pull off the side of the stem. And we'll just blend it in like it just came off of there. So, all right, and then I'm going to do more than just one of these. I can do another one that comes off wherever you want it to come, honestly, and come up, come up this way, be raised up to the top. It can be a smaller little bud. It doesn't have to be the same size, or if you want it to be the same size, guess what? Then make it the same size. It's all up to you. 
Oops. All up to you. And if you're still in lockdown, wherever it is you're at, if you're still doing the stay at home, you know, do, I guess Facebook now has kind of like Zoom rooms too, but do, you know, some meetings. Do, you know, get together with your friends via Zoom and, and have them get some painting stuff together and, and just go to it. Yeah, drink your favorite beverage regardless of what that is. It doesn't have to be wine. And that's what I say even if you're decorating glassware. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to drink alcohol out of it. I'm not an alcohol drinker and I love to paint glasses. They're fun to entertain with and they're great for you know, just a great project to do. Alright, kind of stuck here. What I'm going to go ahead and do next to get this wrapped up is do my my bigger bigger leaves here and I'm just doing that with the moon yellow and the thicket all right and I want to make sure actually I'm starting this wrong I want to make sure that I get big leaves because they have typically have big leaves I'm so proud of myself. I actually said leaves instead of petals. It's the little things in life that make me happy. The main thing you just have to be careful when you're going over the top of a place that's already painted that you don't pull up the paint from below. And that can be an issue. Now, because I'm doing this on a glass and it's not a big area, I'm going to position my leaves a little bit differently because I would technically have them pretty much towards the bottom of this design but again since they're this is a jar and it's not very big I'm going to put them in different positions and just have it look like they're coming off in different areas this have to, it doesn't have to be done a certain way as far as where you position things you know, use your eyes, put put something in a, a place, step back, take a look at it. And see if that's where you like it. One thing nice about working with glass, guess what? I can wipe it off easily and start again. I don't have to, to keep the design if I don't like it. And many who are practicing, wax paper is a great surface to practice on. It's cheap. Hopefully still easy to get. I don't know, I haven't bought it for a while, but hopefully still easy to get. And it just makes a great surface to practice your, your glass painting on. Alright, now I'm going to do this a little bit differently than what I did to begin with on my paper designs because I always do my designs on paper before I do them on the glass. I am going to start with the center and I'm going to pull it up. So I'm going to do white above and the moon yellow below. But I'm doing a little, I don't know if I want to call them their little beard. Giving it a little pet name of some sort. But I'm doing white on the top with my fancy liner brush, fine liner brush. And also too, I try to remember to, to say this when I'm doing a video if you're not paying attention and realize that I am a lefty and I might start a project in a different space, different position than what you do based on being left-handed. So if you're trying to do a design and you think, oh my goodness, why is this so hard for me to get? You might be going in a direction that you need to actually reverse it and go the opposite way. So if I start a pedal here and go for a right-handed, it might be more comfortable for you to start over here and go. That does make a difference. And I apologize if that's hard for you to learn from me, but I like to bring that out so that people are aware that could be why 
something might be a little more challenging for you when you're following me. Alright, and I do apologize for this. Having some issues with my my card for my video camera. I went ahead and I painted the different leaves on here just to kind of finish up the design. I started with my liner brush uh, putting in the white that's on the top looking towards the top of these and then I'm going to finish up the bottom part by putting this design on here. It's basically finishing up the inside of the violets. So we're almost finished. I appreciate you hanging in here. And I apologize. I seem like every time I get on a video, the silly dogs have to bark. Just remember, when you're looking at my channel, my, my designs are meant to be simple. And this is just purely so that I'm encouraging people to paint. What I'm going to do here in the center is just put in a touch of the green, like that. You can make it bigger if you want, but I'm just putting it in the center here, I'm to, kind of like a little smile, like that. And then that completes the center. Again, give it a try. If you do, please feel free to share it on my Facebook page. The link is in the information below. And here you have just a cute little design. I only did it on the front. I didn't do it completely around, but you could. I'm just doing it quickly to show you uh, as a video. But I hope you like it. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Sorry, I'm experiencing some video issues here. Um, problems, promise to get that corrected here. And make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and last but not least, before you leave, please share this on your social network with all your family and friends very easily just by hitting that share button underneath the video, and that's all you need to do. All right, thanks again. I appreciate you, and until the next time, stay safe and healthy. You have a good one.